But it's been back and forth between drivers, mates, and passengers regarding unauthorized transport fare increment. As of April 8th, 2024, the price of gasoline in Ghana stood at 14.15 Ghana cities per liter. Drivers say that they are left with no choice but to increase fares. Many passengers are, however, express, expressing dismay over the sudden hike in prices which were implemented uh, without any official approval or prior communication from the Ghana Private Road Transport Union. There's more in the following report. In January 2024, the unions proposed a 20% increment in response to hikes in taxes, fuel and cost of other inputs. But that did not materialize until the recent jump in fuel prices forced them to return to the table. But the second approach has also been met with delays after Wednesday's meeting with government was postponed to a later date. Amidst these developments, short distance drivers in Accra have taken matters into their own hands by independently raising fares by varying percentages. On the other hand, long distance drivers are holding off on making any changes awaiting official communication and direction from the union leaders. Passengers have expressed dissatisfaction with the sudden fare increases, noting that they were unaware of any official change to transport fares. We are not aware of it, and they haven't, they haven't announced it to us. Even right now, we are just fighting in the, in the bus that the Lord fares too much. Because why is it that if you want to increase the fare, you have to announce it so that we are aware. However, the Industrial Relations Officer of the Ghana Private Road Transport Union, GPRTU, Abbas Imoro, has told passengers of commercial vehicles not to pay fares higher than what they currently pay. This comes after some commercial drivers decided to increase fares overnight without approval from their parent unions. I speaking to my colleague, Kenneth Jesse, Abbas Imoro insisted they have not increased fares and has thus instructed their drivers who have gone ahead to effect such increment to desist from doing so until at least after the outcome with the meeting uh, uh, of their meeting with the transport ministry next Wednesday. Our outreach heard that. So this morning there was a communicate to that effect. I don't know if you haven't fight the communicate. Mm. We came out with a communicate to that right. effect that we are pleading with. Uh, transport operators to hold on to uh, coming Wednesday when we sit and finalize this. Whatever decision will arrive at, we'll bring it out to the public domain. Well, the communique came out today, and we strongly believe by the end of the day, everybody will be privy to it. So from tomorrow, if the challenge is still there, then our leadership will see the way through. Okay, and then we understand that you are you are looking for a twenty percent increment. We, we 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 don't want to discuss the percentage outside because we are negotiating. We haven't come to conclusion. If we say something and our people will shift on that or shift on that, it will also give us another headache. So we we'll played with you. Let us come to final conclusion, as we've been doing all the time. We we'll come out with the community, then we we'll give some days that effective from these days, this is what we are going to do. And we we'll all move forward nicely. 